This video is an overview of the Mediasonic Homeworks HW150 PVR digital converter box. And right off the hop, uh, interestingly enough, even though this is called the HW150 PVR, there is no actual hard drive in here, so the PVR name is really a misnomer. But it's still a good unit. Let me show you a little bit about it. And just to confirm that so I didn't go putting my foot in my mouth, when you press the record button with no USB or hard drive attached, this is the message you get. And I'm doing a quick side-by-side -side comparison with another digital converter box, the HW130 STB, also made by Mediasonic Homeworks. And I featured this one in another video not long ago. In the side-by-side -side comparison, there's a big difference in the size. And a quick comparison of the remotes reveals that the 150 has a larger remote with buttons that are more spaced out and easier to read. And looking at the backs of both units, the 130 has the HDMI and composite cable out, while the 150 has both of those and also adds the option of component video out. So a little more flexibility in terms of installation. And here it is over at the TV, connected with an HDMI cable and I have it connected to my antenna which is installed outdoors. And I'll show you how to use the channel scan function. Hit menu on the remote and it brings up this on-screen guide. And a lot of the converter boxes sold today seem to have the same software interface. So this is the same type of uh, menu interface that um, the 130 has as well. And then we just got to scroll over to channel search and it's really important to click on air under signal type here. If you switch the cable, you will not get any channels. So we'll leave it on air and we go back up to auto search and it'll run a channel scan. And I should warn you that I only get three channels over the air. So don't expect 50 channels because there aren't that many. You can see though, as it runs a scan, it tells you which frequency that it is scanning and each frequency correlates to a specific RF channel. And if we push the info button, we get some program information and there's also the signal quality meter, which is very helpful. And back out of here and hit the electronic program guide, EPG button. And that will give you programming information for the channel for a length of time. And we'll try this on another channel. And as we scroll through the programs, uh, description 
appears on the right side. Pressing the HDMI button repeatedly allows you to select the video resolution that is best for your situation. And to use the PVR function, you just have to plug in a USB drive in the front slot, or you can connect an external hard drive. And to record, we just press the record button and the message appears. And in the top left corner, the counter starts with a yellow flashing light telling you that you are recording. And we can just hit the stop button when we're finished. And you get a message asking you if you want to stop. Hit OK for yes. And finding your recordings, again, press the menu key. And on the top right corner of the screen, you see the USB drive. That's where the recordings are stored. Hit the OK button and click Multimedia. And you're going to go to the PVR. It's already highlighted, so I'll click OK. And then the folder they're stored in is right here, HB PVR. We'll select that, hit OK. And the recording we just did is right here. We'll hit OK. And then the hold button to full screen. And we can watch our program. And then when you're finished, hit the stop button. And you can use exit to back out of the menu and return to your TV. And to record TV using the timer, press the timer key and it brings you into a new menu and then hit the number one to add. And make sure you have the right channel selected and then go down to the time and use the number keys to dial in the time you want. And I want something to record at 11 o'clock tonight. And end at 11.30. And to select AM or PM, you just use the arrow keys to circulate through. And there we go. I only want it to record once. And record mode, and then I can hit OK. And you can see now I've got the timer set to record something at the time I want. So in summary, the HW150 PVR should probably be called the HW150 STB or set top box, since we've already seen that there's no actual PVR function unless you provide the storage device. But it's added flexibility in terms of installation with the component video as well as the larger size, easier to read, easier to use remote control, might make it worth the extra $10. Currently this unit can be found online for about $50 Canadian and the smaller uh, HW130 is about $10 cheaper. So given the added features, I guess you need to decide, is it worth the extra $10 for you?